the bizarre theory that we live in a hologram has been dismissed in a year-long experiment. The holographic concept has been likened us being characters on a television show who do not know that our seemingly 3D world exists only on a 2D screen. The information about everything in our universe could actually be encoded in tiny packets in two dimensions, theoretical physicists say. How the holometer works the instrument that tested these limits is Fermilab's holometer, or holographic interferometer, the most sensitive device ever created to measure the quantum jitter of space itself. The holometer, below, uses a pair of interferometers placed close to one another. Each one sends a 1 kilowatt laser beam, the equivalent of 200,000 laser pointers, at a beam splitter and down two perpendicular 40 meter arms. The light is then reflected back to the beam splitter where the two beams recombine, creating fluctuations in brightness if there is motion. Researchers study these fluctuations in the returning light to see if the beam splitter is moving in a certain way being carried along on a jitter of space itself. If there is a set number of bits that tell you where something is, it eventually becomes impossible to find more specific information about the location even in principle. The instrument that tested these limits is Fermilab's holometer, or holographic interferometer, the most sensitive device ever created to measure the quantum jitter of space itself. For the past year, it has operated on full power, using a pair of interferometers placed close to one another. Each one sent a 1 kilowatt laser beam, the equivalent of 200,000 laser pointers, at a beam splitter and down two perpendicular 40 meter arms. The light was then reflected back to the beam splitter where the two beams recombined, creating fluctuations in brightness if there is motion. Researchers studied these fluctuations in the returning light to see if the beam splitter is moving in a certain way being carried along on a jitter of space itself. Holographic noise is expected to be present at all frequencies, but the scientists' challenge was not to be fooled by other sources of vibrations. The holometer tested a frequency so high millions of cycles per second that motions of normal matter are not likely to cause problems. Rather, the dominant background noise is more often due to radio waves emitted by nearby electronics. The holometer experiment was designed to identify and eliminate noise from such conventional sources. It did not detect the amount of correlated holographic noise, quantum jitter, that this pixelated model of space-time suggests. But as Hogan told Symmetry, this is just one theory, and with the holometer, space-time can be probed at an unprecedented level. This is just the beginning of the story, Hogan said. We've developed a new way of studying space and time that we didn't have before.